There are two ways of uh, entering contacts into Masterpiece version 10, uh, both of which are done in the contact module uh, up here at the top. Uh, you'll notice when you click on contact manager, all of the components of the contact manager module open up. Uh, on the left are the, all the different contact lists as well as contact types that you can create, your email and mass email marketing module as well as your email statistics. To import uh, lots of contacts all at the same time, say you've got dozens or hundreds or maybe even thousands of contacts that you want to move from another database system or that you might just have archived in uh, your email program or in a spreadsheet, you can simply select the import button on this tab and uh, uh, grab a, a file from your desktop and import it directly into the system. The more common uh, uh, way to enter contacts is simply to do that through the contact list add capabilities. So notice again we're in the contacts list. We select add and up will come a blank contact form. Here we can enter all the basic information about a contact into the form and then define you know, attributes of that contact. For example, you know, say I'm a part of uh, Manitou Galleries and I happen to be a sales uh, uh, associate. We can enter uh, the um, uh, basic information about the business. Uh, if, I want, if I'm uh, an artist or a vendor, I uh, may want to capture the, the tax information like a social security number or a federal tax ID for a business so that I can track that information on my forms. I can also define if this contact happens to be an artist. If so, you'll notice that the artist uh, detail tab came up. Uh, when artist is, is initiated, this gives me the opportunity to attach, uh, say, a headshot. Uh, that I might want to use on my website or in other uh, publications uh, in the business. And I can upload a, a, an image directly here. I can also create uh, biography information. Again, uh, uh, where uh, the reason for that is for I may want to publish um, uh, through Masterpiece on, directly onto my website, a biography uh, for listing you know, the works that this artist uh, is re has represented in my gallery. On the Contacts tab, uh, we can uh, add uh, any number of uh, telephone numbers, uh, email addresses, instant messaging accounts, and physical addresses. To do that, we simply say plus, add a number, define whether that is the primary number or not, and then what type of, of contact number that is. In this case, this would be our, uh, a main number. And then save it. You'll notice the number gets saved over here. If I've got another number that I'd like, say uh, maybe a, uh, a cell phone number that, that I'd like to uh, save for this particular contact, I simply add it and save it. And now you'll notice that both of those numbers are captured in the drop-down box. The same would be uh, uh, handled for uh, email accounts. I would save that as a primary account, save it, and we've captured it over here. You'll also notice that you can email directly out of, your con uh, out of our contact form. If that's the case, you simply select email. Up will come a uh, email client. You'll notice that it's pre-defined uh, to go to this particular client. I can change uh, the from uh, email address. I can uh, say who this is coming from. And I can also uh, attach CCs, uh, blind copies, subject attachments from my computer. I can also include items from my database. You know, from my inventory database uh, to this. We'll get into that, uh, uh, those capabilities later. Uh, instant messaging, more and more people are using instant messaging as a way to contact folks. You can enter that. You can also enter a, a contact uh, uh, a mailing address. Save it, and this contact has now been created.